Praise be Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen. And He is truly risen, of course, today, the Resurrection Sunday, Easter. Um, we are reading the long-awaited readings from the Gospel in which we see Mary Magdalene rushing to the tomb. Of course, she is the one who had received hope from Jesus. She had received the foretaste of heaven, of foretaste of resurrection when Jesus forgave her many sins. And she uh, entered into an intimate relationship with him while still on earth. She's the one who a few days ago anointed him to prepare him for his death and his burial and his suffering. And of course, today she is running to the tomb, filled with sorrow, filled with sadness, and she is surprised. She sees the, the stone removed. She runs back to the house to inform the disciples. And John and Peter come in. And Peter puts his head in the tomb. And he sees and he believes. And I think that's so important. Because we see throughout the world the fruits of, of, of those who have seen and believed. You know, we are... We are the, the walking uh, symbols, the walking examples of the truth of resurrection. The Lord is risen, He is alive, and hence we exist. Uh, we give our lives to Him, whether in lay community as married people, single people in the world who are trying to live the gospel values, or we priests or nuns. We are all trying to testify to the resurrection of Jesus. And today I wanted to show you a few examples of well-known people who have believed in Jesus' resurrection and it transformed their lives. Of course, first will be Saint Faustina. Saint Faustina, as you all know, Polish nun who died of tuberculosis um, in 1930s. You know, there was no cure for that illness, just like there is no cure for the coronavirus. Um, one day there will be, but for now we live like she lived. All giving her life to Jesus, um, experiencing her suffering and her death with Jesus Christ, and believing in his resurrection, hence with no fear, she was able to give her life to him. Another saying that I wanted to show is Saint Maximilian Kolbe. So popular here over there in the United States, here in Poland, especially among the young people, because he will perfectly embody the, the um, commandment to give your life. There is no greater love than to give your life for your brethren. And that's what he did. But it didn't just happen. He had lived in a relationship with resurrected Jesus all of his life. And then when the time of test came, he was able to give his life. Because he believed Jesus and his resurrection. Another one, of course... John Paul II, such an example for so many of us, people living back then when he was still alive, um, being inspired by his example. We wanted to be priests because of him. We wanted to be priests like him, but we wanted to be priests of Jesus Christ, um, but yet have an example to follow here on earth. And John Paul II, of course, the man who lived out the resurrection of Jesus all of his life, in a very practical way, inspiring others to do the same. Another saint, Chiara. Saint Chiara, I discovered her only last year. Well, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but last year I started really studying her. Um, getting to know her. Young girl who died at the age of 19 in Italy. Beautiful girl uh, who had many friends, was very popular, played tennis, and got sick. She had cancer. Knowing that she was going to die, she gave her life totally to Jesus, believing in the resurrection, believing that one can live life without fear. Only one has to believe, see and believe that Jesus is not lying to us. He's not playing with us. Another saint, very popular, Saint Therese of Lisieux. Um, another saint who died very young, 23 years old, um, from friends. Of course, I um, ask you if you haven't read the uh, story of the soul to try to read it. Um, it was such a source of hope um, 
and healing for so many soldiers coming back from World War I in France who were broken down, lost hope, lost friends, feeling very isolated and misunderstood. And Saint Therese, the little flower, gave her a lot of hope. Why? Because she lived out the resurrection in her life. Um, you may remember her looking like that. It's the same girl. Another saint that I wanted to show you is Saint Teresa of Avila, the first true um, feminist, but in a positive way, the one who knew what it meant to be a woman. Um, she knew her place in the world, she knew her place in the church, and she wasn't trying to fight her way through anything. She was simply living out her vocation, became a source of inspiration for so many of her generation and so many for the last 500 years because she lived out the resurrection of Jesus. It wasn't just a distant memory written in the book of the Bible. It was something one can live. St. John of the Cross, another great saint who suffered a lot in his life, even from his own brothers in the community of the Carmel, and yet was able to offer it all up to Jesus and, again, live out the resurrection. And the last one that I wanted to show you is not a saint. <laughs> and I know people will say, well, what is he thinking? Um, that's me <laughs> when I was young. Um, not a saint, not a saint. But because I do believe in resurrection, I do believe in second chance, and I do believe God is almighty and merciful, I know that even though I was super lost as a teenager, and I've committed many sins, and I'm still learning how to be a good Christian, good man, good priest. Um, I do believe that the Lord and His grace can be sufficient for us to become saints in this life. I do believe that we are called to do that, and I do believe the, Lord, the world is hungry to see an example of those who truly believe in the gospel and the resurrection. Tomorrow, Easter Monday, here in Poland we had the a tradition that we would sprinkle people with water or just throw a bucket of water on them. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but what will happen, we'll have another chance, another day to live it for Jesus Christ. For that time, may the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Happy Easter. And please, if you want to continue meeting, subscribe to the channel. God bless you.